Hello, first grade. Today we're going to be going over capacity, and my name is Josh Wogenagler with the Antonio Garcia Center in Tammy CC. Let's get started. So, the first lesson we're going to be doing with capacity is using non standard units of measurement. And what capacity is, it is a, it's what an item can hold within it. So, let's say for a, a cup. A cup can usually hold a full glass or a full cup of water. And usually when you say, when someone says, can you go get me a, a cup of water? Usually they fill it to the top or halfway. So the capacity would be how much that cup can hold. So for if since we're using non-standard, will be non-standard units of measurement for capacity. A cup of water is a perfect example of that non-standard unit of measurement. So like, can you go get me a cup of this or a cup of that or like, whatever the capacity of it can hold. So like, if we used a bowl, for instance. So we had a bowl and it was like, can you fill me that bowl up with grapes? So it'd be a bowl of grapes. The capacity that that bowl can fill with grapes is what we're concerned with. So we want to know how much grapes can go within that bowl. So for this instance, it'd be nine for example just throwing it out there that's the capacity of the bowl is nine grapes so a bowl of grapes we know that the capacity within that bowl is nine grapes and we can also do like a closet or a trunk or a dresser if you ever had a dresser there's a certain capacity within that dresser so we know each like shelf space can maybe contain four shirts but a stack of four shirts so we know that's the capacity of that shelf space that we can put within one thing and that's it for today or right, thank you that's it for today hello second grade my name is Joshua Borganegula and today we're gonna to be going over capacity and we're gonna be saying if this is just like what's capacity and just getting us introduced introduced to it let's get started so if I said, if I showed you three things, so I showed you a cup of water and it's filled to that much. And uh, we go a bowl of water and it's filled that much. And then we do a glass of water or like a vase of water. And it's filled up all the way. Now, my question to you, second grade is, which one of these three would be considered most full out of the three. Now, if you said the vase of water, you'd be correct because it's filled all the way to the top. And therefore, and if you look at the three objects, we could see that the vase would hold more capacity. Even if it was maybe a, like 75%, I would still say the vase would be more full because it can hold more within it rather than a cup of water or a bowl. Now, if I ask which one was the least amount, you would say the cup, because a bowl can hold more than a cup can in capacity wise, depending on the bowl and depending on the cup. But statistically, a cup can or a cup does not hold more than what a bowl could hold capacity wise. Now for another example, we could use a shelf. So if we said that the first shelf had books. We said the second shelf had um, two pictures. And then the third shelf had, um, had videos on them. We would ask, again, which one holds the mo most capacity? Now, looking at the three shelves I drew, which one to you seems biggest? it'd be the one with the videos. Even though videos weigh less than books, we're not asking the weight of the two objects, we're asking which one's holding the more capacity. And that's how some people get mistaken between capacity and weight, but capacity is more so what can be hold rather than how much that thing holds. Thank you.